Hey guys, this is Caleb with Stain and Seal Experts, Fence and Deck Stains and Restorative Wood Products. I want to thank you for watching this video. Today we're going to talk about how to choose the perfect fence or deck stain color for your project and how the pros do it. So the first thing I want to talk about is colors nowadays. You know, used to everybody kind of did a clear stain or a very natural tone stain, but today there's all colors of the rainbow. We have 18 colors in our color lineup and nowadays a lot of people want to be bold. They want to do something different. They want to do something loud, so we're seeing a lot of black stains going on privacy fences. We're seeing grays. We're seeing a lot of reds are coming back. We're seeing a lot of red and deep red like mahogany colors. So there's so many things out there that you can choose, and we're going to help you kind of show you how we would go about making that decision. So first thing I want to talk about is, uh, is the uh, invisible elephant in the room, and that is the HOA. If you've got an HOA, you need to check with them first. Sometimes those, those HOAs have regulations and restrictions on certain colors. And nobody likes to do that, but they're, they're there for a reason. And uh, so check with your HOA first. And if they've got a color, you may be stuck with that. But if not, and you can get creative with it, the first thing I would do is uh, take a look at your, uh, your color palette there and see what's available. Generally, your lighter tone colors are going to require more maintenance over time. So clears, transparent colors, things of that nature, toners, those are things that are going to need maintenance every one to two years on fences and decks. If you get into your semi-transparent type colors, uh, some that we offer, pecan, mahogany, walnut, blacks, thing of that nature, then those are going to give you three to five years of coverage on most surfaces. And when you get into our semi-solid color lines where you've got your really pigmented colors like grays, uh, the really chocolate brown colors, the, we've even got a gray green color called euc eucalyptus, those stains get you way on out there. They get a long life and they can cover up a lot of older fences and things where you've had repairs. So how do we choose colors? What we tell most of our clients is we want to look at pictures because over the years we've found that the, uh, the little color cards, the little color swatches and little wood samples really set the wrong expectation. Uh, a great example of that, if you look over my shoulder here, you see this fence. This fence in the picture is cedar tone stain. It's a transparent color. It's on a brand new western red cedar fence. You see it's a very bright orange color, uh, very popular color. Here it is on a wood sample and you can see the difference. It's totally different and if, if you were to really select that one color there based on that color swatch and then you, you do the job and it looks like that, you're gonna, it's going to be way off. So what we found is photographs in different lighting conditions on different types of wood work best. So for instance, if you wanted a chocolate brown color, uh, we could send you photographs over or you could do your research and find them online and whatever stain color you're looking for and you can look at that type of stain on that particular type of wood that you have at your house and I would recommend you look at it in different lighting conditions. So a couple of pictures in the full sun and a couple of photos in the shade and it'll give you a really good idea of the differences that, uh, you know, that you're going to see. Uh, in those lighting conditions and it'll be a really good way to select your color. Um, again, the samples, they just really have never worked well for us. Same thing when you're painting your house, you know, those little bitty color cards and then you get it on the wall, it looks totally different. And so, so the same thing holds true for when you're doing the fence index stain. So I hope that information there helped you on your journey to figuring out what stain color you're going to use for your fence or deck staining project. If you're a contractor, I would recommend you use the photographs. If you need photos, you can go to Google, you can go to our website, restorativewoodproducts.com, or you can email us, info at stainandsealexperts.com. Got to go, a lot of great photos that you can send to your clients. And same thing, if you're a do-it-yourselfer uh, or you, your contractor is using a different, you know, a stain that we offer, just reach out to us and we'll be glad to help you with that color consultation. Again, photos in different lighting conditions. I want to see the photos on different types of wood, particularly the type that you're doing on your fence or deck project. And I, you know, just different lighting conditions. That's pretty much it. You know, those two things right there will really make the difference on getting the right color or the wrong color. And that's the way we do it. If you want to learn more information, you can go to stainandsealexperts.com. And we also have an online store, which is restorativewoodproducts.com. Very easy to find those and if you're in the contracting business and you want to learn more about fence and deck staining i urge you to go to staininguniversity.com and you can join our facebook group right there it's free packed full of tons of tips and tricks for homeowners do-it-yourselfers and contractors alike in the staining seal business so thanks guys have a great day and i'll see you on the next one